welcome to day 10 and you believe that we only have a few days left together i cannot i literally feel like we just started but at the same time i also feel like we've taken a lot of lead way so my journal is really filling up with all these dreams hopefully you're getting that too and hopefully your identity is really feeling formed in it and that you're just you know having the clearest vision ever knowing who you are knowing what's in your hand knowing what's in your heart and seeing steps ahead as we just speak over one another so today's devotion is called extravagant it's a really cool one i hope that you enjoy it but just want to have you pause now and give it a little read and then i'll pull out some parts for us to discuss after i'm going to just pull out the last part of the devotion which says Many times we want to see before we believe, but more often God asks us to believe in him before we can see what he can do. So that is a whole perspective of the book was saying, if what? And in Joshua, it talks about consecrating yourself because the Lord is going to do amazing things. Thing is that the difference between what we're doing now and what we're going to be doing at the end of this year, thinking that there's just a river, there's a big river in between us and the other side of what God has spoken to us on day one, and we're gonna want to head for it, but the way that we're gonna get through it is through declarations. Today, we're actually going to be writing out declarations, aligning it with what we believe the Lord has is saying he's going to give to us this year and also finding scriptures to match with it because that's where the power is like whenever jesus was in the wilderness he and i think it was in luke oh where is it it was in luke 4 he was in the wilderness and he was being tested and he used the word of god against the enemy who is using the word of god against him you need to know the word of god like you need to know that you know that you know it in order to be able to clear no matter what this river is in front of me we are passing through it. We're not letting the enemy hold me back. We are going to get to the other side no matter what because that is what the Lord is putting on our hearts this year. And we're going to take ground. Yeah, we are. I'm believing in it. I want you to pause now and ask the Lord for five things that you can declare out daily. We're going to write it out. We're going to put on a piece of paper, not in your journal. You could write it on your journal, but we're going to do an additional one. So you can put it by your door somewhere that you're going to see it every day. And these five declarations we're going to be speaking out every single day for the rest of the year so go ahead and do that now okay so why did i have us talk about declarations after I, what i read about uh, to us in the extravagant devotion declaring things allows us to actually see things into existence usually like seeing leads to believing but this case whenever you speak things you start to believe things and then you start to see things as god said he's like you're never going to see what i see until you speak what i speak so we just want to be able to make sure that we align our words with the words of god but we also want to be declaring them because that's the way to keep your faith strong it's a way to not waver in your faith and it's a way to keep going forward because i'm just telling you now there's going to be times where you do not feel at all like anything that you're speaking is going to come to pass but the lord is going to make it happen and i just want to speak that now over you what he begun he will also finish it because because that is what the word says so hopefully by now you have written your declarations down you're feeling quite confident about it you have found scriptures to go with it and you have placed it somewhere in your room and i'm really excited because today we're just going to be talking about the declarations and we're also going to be giving um, additional declarations to each other being like i feel like this is what you're also supposed to be declaring to be beautiful praying that it empowers you helps you to see what is ahead of you and i know by the end of this year we're going to be reaching that the other side together as joshua led his people through the river god is going to lead all of us through the river so let me just pray thank you lord for your word Thank you that it is powerful and mighty. Thank you for the declarations that you have given us so that we may speak it out loud. Become, may it become um, what it is meant to become. Let us believe wholeheartedly in your words, in your truth, in your power. May we step into all that you have called us to be and do this year. In Jesus' name, amen. See you guys at 10 a.m. for our little girl Zoom time. <laughs>